Now to the race for the White House. Vice President Kamala Harris is pushing back as former President Donald Trump is calling out the White House for not doing enough to help disaster victims. Meanwhile, Trump is facing renewed scrutiny over his relationship with Russian President Vladimir Putin. Peter Alexander has the details. In the final four weeks until the election, Vice President Kamala Harris ramping up her media appearances, cracking a beer with Stephen Colbert on late night TV, but facing scrutiny for these comments on The View when asked what she would have done differently than President Biden over the last four years. There is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. Later saying she'd appoint a Republican to her cabinet. That will be one of the differences. I'm going to have a Republican nice. in my cabinet because I don't, I don't feel burdened by letting pride get in the way of a good idea. Former President Trump and his campaign quickly seizing on the comments. Trump listing the border and inflation as issues during the Biden presidency and writing her dumbest answer so far. On Howard Stern's radio show, Harris responding to new reporting from journalist Bob Woodward in a forthcoming book obtained by NBC News. Woodward writes that at the height of the pandemic, Trump secretly sent COVID test machines to Russian President Vladimir Putin for his personal use, even as the U.S. and other countries faced shortages. Actually, Harris weighing in. I believe that Donald Trump has this desire to be a dictator. He admires strong men and he gets played by them because he thinks that they're his friends Yeah, and they are manipulating him full time. Woodward also reporting that Trump and Putin have had maybe as many as seven phone calls since Trump left office. Trump telling ABC News the reporting on his calls to Putin and providing him test machines is false. But the former president defending his relationship with Putin yesterday. I got along with him very well, which is a good thing, not a bad thing. NBC News has not independently confirmed Woodward's reporting.